Hey guys, this is Michael from Cocker Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be learning a very important skill in stoichiometry, how to convert between the grams of one component to grams of something else. It's just, and it really just comes down to following this flowchart. This flowchart chart tells you exactly what you need to do uh, for the purpose of this explanation. A is going to be what we're given, and then B is going to be what we're trying to figure out. And this will make more sense as we look at this example. So let's see what this example is asking us. It, tell, it tells us this reaction right here and is asking what mass of O2 will be needed to burn 36.1 grams of B2H6. So let's identify what's A and what's B. A is going to be what's given. So that means this is going to be A because we're given a certain amount of grams of it. And then B is going to be O2 because that's the unknown. That's what we're trying to solve for. So the first thing we actually do in stoichiometry is make sure we have a balanced equation. And this equation currently is not balanced because as you can see we have two borons on the left side but only one boron on the right side. So we're going to have to balance this equation before we jump into the conversion. Um, so it's balancing it. We're going to need a Two right here to balance the borons and then we're going to need whoops we're, we have h2o h2o we're going to need a two right here to balance the number of borons and then we're going to need a two right here to balance the number of oxygens and if you, you're having trouble balancing chemical equations just take a look at my balancing chemical equation videos and i go step by step in terms of how to do this so that's our first step balance the chemical equation now we can use this flow chart and help us with the stoichiometry with the conversion so we're going to start with grams of a the grams of the given and that's 36.1 grams of b2h6 then we're going to divide by the molar mass with, with dimension analysis we're always going to be multiplying by some factor and then again it's all about canceling units out so if we have grams of B2H6 up here, I'm going to want to put grams of B2H6 down here so they can cancel out. And I'm trying to get to moles. Um, so moles is, the units of moles is going to be on the top right here. Moles of B2H6. And I'm dividing by molar mass, so I'm going to put the molar mass on the bottom. And then molar mass of B2H6 is 27.66, and I'm going to put one mole. Uh, because whenever you're working with molar mass, the, you're always going to have one in front of the moles. Great. So when we do that, the grams of B2H6 cancel each, each other out. And then we're currently right here. So then we have to go to the next step. We're going to convert from moles of A to moles of B. So that means we're converting from moles of B2H6 to moles of O2. And we do that by multiplying by the mole fraction. So again, I'm going to multiply by the factor. And then on the bottom... Um, it's all about canceling out units. So I have moles of B2H6 up here. I'm going to have moles of B2H6 down here. And I'm trying to get to moles of, of O2. So that means I'm going to want moles of O2 on top. Uh, and then the numbers for your mole fraction, you look at the coefficients. So the coefficients in front of O2 and in front of B2H6. And the coefficient in front of both of these, it's 1. So we have 1 and 1. Great, and when we do that, the moles of B2H6 cancel each other out, so we're left with moles of O2. And currently, we're over here. And then we just have to do one more step to convert it to grams of O2 by multiplying by molar mass. So again, multiply by a factor. And since I have moles of O2 up here, I'm going to put moles of O2 down here, all about canceling out units. And I'm trying to get to grams of, of O2, so grams of O2 goes up top. This time I'm multiplying by molar mass. When you multiply, you put the number on the top, and when you divide, you put the number on the bottom. Uh, and then the, the molar mass of O2 is 32, and then when you're working with molar mass, you're always going to put a 1 next to the moles. And that's going to cause the moles of O2 to cancel each, each other out, and we're left with grams of O2. So we plug this into our calculator, and we get a final answer of 41.2. 76 grams of O2. And that is your answer. Hopefully this helped, this clarified how to convert from grams to grams. And if you thought this video was helpful, like it, 
subscribe to my channel because throughout this entire semester I'm going to be posting videos that's going to help you get through the class, help you do better, and help you conquer chemistry. And if you liked my teaching style and you're interested in chemistry tutoring, check out www.conquerchemistry.com slash online tutoring. And I'm going to post a link in the description below so you can just click it and it'll lead you directly to the site and make it easier for you. Until next time.